What a bull. Going to the A and E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So yeah, right now, currently at the rehab gym, it's my day, it's Friday evening, rehab gym, I'm working on my Achilles injury and my ankle injury, which I've been out for, Achilles been out since April, and the ankle one, kind of, because I rushed back from my Achilles injury, so I rolled my ankle whilst running, so basically two things I'm working on yeah so I've been been hard because I play football I feel like my footballing potential has not been I haven't reached I've definitely not reached my potential and my potential hasn't been seen only glimpses I'd say whilst being at uni has been seen when lockdown happens then I get injured I even during lockdown I was here at this physio injured because injured my hip I had a hip injury from November last year 2020 and that injury uh, yeah my hip injury lasted me until maybe like this year early this year maybe just about recovered so that was during that I was my right hip that actually didn't stop me from playing football I still was still playing football even though obviously the physio said I shouldn't be but I was literally left foot only. Ask anyone. Left foot, I became left footed then. You wouldn't even know. I was just left footed then. Yeah, my left foot developed and then my left foot game injured. Achilles left foot. My left Achilles injured from April 2021. So over summer, just until I came back to uni for a final year, I just didn't use it. And now because this side, I rushed into it and went and started running and then I did my ligaments. So my foot rolls, sprained my ankle and I haven't fully recovered from that. And because I started running, this is still injured. My right side, my right Achilles, it was now starting to become injured because it's having to bear most of the load. So it's a bit crazy trying to get both to 100% and then can be back back playing football that's what I hate the only thing I hate is not being able to play or when I do play I'm not 100% and I'm not showing what I'm capable of like I played one game and I was not 100% but I showed glimpses of what I'm capable of I scored some mad goal with my left foot top right corner and I was like yeah I'm back but obviously I wasn't back and now I'm back here in the rehab gym Make some noise. 
for East African Society. Thank you. Yesterday, 21st of February, first time hosting a show, hosted the Freaker East African Society show. Uh, it was not easy. The way I was shaking underneath my clothes. I was feeling cold, nervous, but it went well, it went well. Yes, yeah, so at the start, also hit 250 subscribers on my YouTube on Friday, which was the 18th of February. Where well, it doesn't stop, keep working until dream becomes a reality. I remember the pain I was twisting myself through. I was training like every single day. Like this was during 2021, yeah, last year. I think it's probably around March, April. Yeah, yeah. Which almost every every morning I'll be up at like six. I'll go train, either do running, sprints, either just go in the cage, do football work, and teach you some days I'll come back home. Like one day, I think I remember, I went one day to the rugby pitch, which is like close to where I lived, and I usually just go there to do sprints yeah. at like 7am. I remember one day I went, and I was there for like 10 minutes and came back home. I was just in pain. I was really, I, I think I even cried. Yeah, I was yeah. just in pain. Yeah. Like, it was like, my body had had enough. I think it got to the point where, that was like the point for me. I was like, I need to, I need to stop. I've never heard you say that to me. Mm. Around, you know, work training so hard that it brought you to tears. Uh, that's, that's a serious commitment. Currently 12th of September, I think this is my going into the last week, which the doctor said. And I just, I've just been, I just feel, I just feel so unfit. Like from once being in my eyes, very, very fit. Even though I don't look like I'm unfit, <sighs> some people might say, but just how I feel day to day, like, they say when you become an athlete or when you've been training for such a long time, once you get older, you just can't stop. You have to keep maintaining at least a certain level because thinking about it even from a biology perspective, when you grow, everything grows. So your muscles grow, everything. So even heart muscle. So these are all things you need to maintain. I feel like just dropping off like what I'm doing training almost every single day to now doing nothing for weeks on end just sitting at my desk I've been feeling the the changes again it goes back to you need to keep maintaining a certain level so that's my aim at the moment also obviously the doctor in Uganda has recommended that six weeks and then get back in to see how my ankle feels I've also been in touch with the GP back here in the UK Hopefully I'll be able to see a specialist doctor in the field. But for now, like, I just want to do cardio, but I can't even swim, I can't run, I can't do those kind of things. It's tough. As you can see, we're here in Bassey Park. This is where my football journey started. Probably the age of five, playing key in the Bassey Park, AstroTurf, my journey days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say I started journey days to Spotlight, grassroots football. I don't really like the term non-league football. I feel like it's like kind of disrespecting the people who play in those leagues because I feel like there's a lot of talent. I was previously naive thinking, oh, it was just long ball football, no quality and stuff like that. But all I did was just turn up and just watch games to realise myself that there is talent and I want to showcase it. Also, I believe like one of those players could have been myself. And as a player, what you want is almost recognition sometimes. 